Gavin Newsom uh, blasts the lack of transparency in UCLA's move to the Big Ten. Now, why is this such a big deal for UCLA and not USC? Well, USC is a private school. They can effectively do whatever they want to do. UCLA, however, is a part of the UC system, the, U, uh, the California uh, educational system, California university system. Let's, uh, let's jump over here. I want you to listen to this blip from an interview with Fox 11. So UCLA is leaving the Pac-12. I read about it. Heading to the Big Ten. I read about it. Yeah. So they didn't tell you in advance. I'm the governor. No big deal. I'm governor, state of Cal. But but maybe a bigger deal is I'm chair of the UC Regents. I, no one. I read about it. Is it a good idea? Did I, did we have a discuss the merits or demerits? I, not aware that anyone did. So it was it was done in isolation. It was done without any regental oversight or support. It was done without any consideration to my knowledge. Now, perhaps there was deep conversation with other presidents or rather chancellors and presidents in the system and the impact more broadly, not just to the UCs, but to other universities, including Stanford University and basically the Berkeley Cal system. Well, I have strong opinions about this for no other uh, reason that as a member of the regions, we were never consulted never asked for an opinion, and then any of the decency to provide head up, heads up. So trust me when I say this, we're not going to be looking into it. We already are looking into it within minutes after reading about this in the newspaper. Now, let's, let's talk about this. He brings up Stanford, which, again, why he would bring up Stanford that kind of lets me know that none of this has anything to do with the UC system. Uh, Stanford's a private school, much like USC. They have nothing to do with the UC system. So if it was going to affect anybody, it would affect Cal. That's the one that he should have mentioned. Instead, he mentioned Stanford. Now, if he wants to bring up Stanford, maybe he's got Stanford voters or people that are associated with him that are Stanford fans that are worried that this is going to hurt their university's athletics program. And they're probably right about that. Regardless, it still doesn't do a whole lot. Uh, when you look at some of the stuff, Matt Brown with the Extra Points newsletter uh, came out and went through a whole lot of different people that he interviewed and asked, like, what, what does this mean? You know, because there, are, there were other conversations that were had that maybe uh, the UC Board of Regents could uh, maybe block this. Maybe block it from happening, in which case, uh, I'm sure that <laughs> that the Big Ten would be fine with just going and inviting Stanford and saying, forget it. Like, we, we don't have to have you uh, UCLA. Uh, I, I think it would still work both ways, but I'm, I'm, a, little, I'm a little concerned here. Um, when you look at uh, the interviews, Dr. Sarah Hill, professor of political science at Cal State Fullerton, uh, her hypothesis on this said, I honestly think this is just a governor with a bruised ego. Uh, she said, this is a huge decision that UCLA and USC made, and he's mad that they did not consult him and make the decision, or and that they made the decision without him even knowing that it happened. I really do think it's straightforward and the kind of reaction you would see from any governor in that position. The issue here is that I don't know that Gavin Newsom ever really goes to any of these Board of Regents meetings or anything like that. Uh, Dr. Smith said normally the governor does not even attend those meetings. So I, this is not going to affect anything. They can talk about it all they want to. Uh, when you look at what John Wilner said in the hotline, in the Pac-12 hotline, he said a spokesperson for the UC office of the president told the hotline that the regents have no authority to prevent UCLA's move. There is no requirement for a decision from the University of California Board of Regents or the Office of the President. And then it says, UCLA leadership informed President Drake that discussions between UCLA and the Big Ten were occurring, but he was not involved at all in those discussions or in any negotiations. UCLA remains best positioned to answer the questions as decisions related to athletics are formulated and executed at the campus level. The conference that you play for, as far as athletics goes, really has nothing to do with the school, which you can argue back and forth about whether that's true or not. But bottom of the line, or the bottom line, excuse me, is this thing's done. And there's a, Gavin Newsom can get fired up all he wants to, 
But this is a, a losing battle for him. Uh, why he would get so irritated about it, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Uh, because this is... I mean, that you, you can't stop this now that it's already in motion, that it's already done. I mean, <laughs> what are we... What are we talking about? You you need to make sure if you are the chair of the board of regents that you at least understand what the bylaws are, right? I mean that's that's kind of the way that I look at it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.